Today we're just going to get right into it as your favorite talking head does his best to review another movie. This one just happens to be an Apple TV movie. That's where I saw it. You could have saw it in theater, but it's Flora and Son starring the lovely Eve uh, Hewson. And if you don't know who she is, go and watch Bad Sisters on Apple TV as well. She's an utter delight. Hi, I'm your host, Chris Humphrey. And for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm just another talking head doing my best to get my opinion out there because I think it matters to somebody. In this case, it just happens to be Flora and Son, a lovely Apple TV Plus uh, movie. And if you're into that heartwarming and that heartfelt uh, fantasy fairy tale that everything's hunky-dory, uh, type of thing. You're going to love this movie. I'm going to be very biased. I really like this movie. I like this style of movie. I needed to feel happy after, I guess, a long day of work like everybody else. And this one just puts me in a mood to be happy with these folky uh, type songs. Um, the best way to describe this movie is uh, one man's trash is another man's treasure as a young uh, Flora is trying to get her son off of the internet and out into a hobby uh, that would make his life feel a little more fulfilling. Now, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. Uh, it's not perfect because fairy tales are not perfect, but there is a lot of good humor and a lot of good um, uh, Irish uh, talking. What I would do with this movie, though, is I would 100% put the subtitles on because you're going to be sitting there and you're going to be like, huh, what did they say? And it's not because of their accents, because yeah, Irish, they speak better English than me. Uh, but it's because the sound is a little a bit of a problem. And I think that's an Apple TV uh, issue. And that's another video uh, down the line. But... Uh, what you're not going to like is if you're not into those happy, hunky-dory uh, movies, those feel-good movies where uh, everything's a bit of a fairy tale, then you're not going to like it. You don't like that coming-of-age story where a mother's trying to help her son get out of his rut uh, and starts with music, then you're not going to like this. Uh, it's a bit, uh, bit rudderless, uh, meets Coda uh, with Flora, who uh, doesn't look old enough to have a teenage uh, son. Um, but I guess that's the Irish curse uh, in her. Uh, but the chemistry between her and Joseph Gordon-Levitt is enough to give this an eight uh, alone. And uh, Mr. Levitt does a, Gordon-Levitt does a fantastic job at singing. He has a very sweet, lovey-dovey uh, type voice, and they have. Uh, incredible uh, chemistry and Jack Reiner uh, does a great job and John Kearney if you're into his movies like Once and things like that you're going to love this uh, as much as I did I think uh, a lot of curse words that are kind of happy uh, when you hear uh, somebody swear in an Irish accent you can't help but laugh and smile because uh, you know it's just how it is uh, but if you're not into those happy Go like the movie's great, but it's a beautiful fairy tale world. Uh, and to help me escape from how shitty life is. I was happy uh, when I watched it, and uh, Miss Houston is becoming uh, an utter delight to watch um, on uh, on screen. Uh, I think she just gets better as time goes on. Uh, she's a better actor than her dad. Uh, I don't know about singing, but uh, she definitely does a good job at creating a character that would be believable as a mom uh, struggling uh, in modern world to keep her son uh, out of trouble and sane. Uh, but I don't know if you guys like these kind of uh, movies. I just wish whoever's doing these streaming sites gets better at sound. I don't know if they're firing all the sound uh, engineers or what, but... The sound is just incredibly, you're like, what the hell are people saying? What the hell's going on? Uh, but the lyrics to the music that's written in there, great. Mm -hmm. uh, very catchy. I just need to turn the volume up a hundred times louder than I should have. Uh, just Eve does a, Miss Houston does a fantastic job at carrying the weight of this film, even with heavyweights like Joseph Gordon-Levitt. 
uh, in there helping uh, make a believable uh, believable coming of age uh, story. Uh, does her finding a guitar in the trash and getting her son to help out with music and start a band help him in the long run? Who knows? Uh, because it's a happy go lucky story, yes. But if you want something dark, a little bit darker, and not so happy go lucky, okay, watch what rudderless uh, with Billy Crudup. But if you want something where uh, everything's hunky dory and you need to feel happy for once, this is it. And stay for Miss Houston's performance, uh, which will probably help her uh, net some awards down the line. So an eight out of ten. Not perfect, not good enough to make the list. But I want you guys to go out there and watch it. I want you guys to start watching Apple TV before it gets canceled somehow. But you guys know what I'm going to say. I love you guys. If I don't see you again, bom dia, botarje, and boroch. Ciao. Producer, play some music, but none from that show because I know Apple will take my Argos jersey. Ciao.